Welcome back guys to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Today we are going to do this mission for Charles Dickens. 50 at Bakley Square. Mr. Dickens, tell me, what do you want? Uh, never mind, because the game wants to change the time. Ha. Uh, hello? How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 50, Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the specter of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. Okay, where is it? afraid, are you? Another legend claims the attic is haunted you know. by the spirit of a young woman who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. So, more ghost stories. Cool. That was perfect. We've reached it. Shall we? Uh, yes, we shall. Cool. Oh, this house is vacant. Some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Uh, clues found. That is probably a clue. The keyboard. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. Now that's kind of creepy, but the window's open, so I mean... A sudden draft. Nothing more. Okay, do you want to go to the attic? See if this kid really exists? <laughs> Mother, fucker, that's word. good. Perhaps... Perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter. You mean the kid that just ran down the stairs? You mean the kid that just ran down the stairs? <laughs> this is scary! <laughs> Stop laughing, you little prick! Who the hell are you? Hey! Hey, get back here! What?! There's four?! Okay, this is the guy I'm gonna catch. This is the prick I'm gonna catch. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've almost... Wait. Cutting corners, cutting corners. Jeez, this kid can run fast. This kid can run friggin' fast. Hey, you... Let me go, you moak! Charming. Now tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to you? Out with it. Right away. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. How coincidental that the kid that we took, that we, um, that we, um, was it? How coincidental that the kid that we tackled had the key that we needed. Huh? Huh? I'm the only one who's suspicious? Suspicious of a game design? Hello. I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. Open the secret door. Well, it's... Oh, God, there's a secret... There's an actual secret door. Okay. This is friggin' weird. Is it that door? Nope, it's that door. Huh. Hello, kid. Ha! So this is how it <clears throat> works. Impressive. Okay. Okay, I have to press that. Okay, so Darwin's not going to do anything. Fine. <clears throat> or Dickens. I can't remember which one it is. Charles. Is that it? Get out of here! 
out of my house! Whoa, okay. Stop that, Charles. Good lord. I did it in my mind. So it's. And I did it over and over again. <laughs> there was no one whose love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. Okay. That was weird. Dickens! Hey, okay, I can't jump because I'm inside a house. Great stuff, game. Great stuff. Dick, oh, nope, Dickens. Why did you, I wonder what's behind that door. That's the door that's secret. That's the secret door. I must know. Dickens, where'd you go? Why'd you go outside, man? It's not that scary. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square, just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. Okay. Cool. 50 Barclay Square. Nice, 600 XP. Cool. Charles Dickens, cane sword. Niceness. Um, hmm, which one should we do now? Which one should we do now? We'll do that one because it's right close to, um, the fast travel point. So we'll be right back when we get to that mission. Well, this looks like a bit of a riot, doesn't it? I'm breaking the bank. Oh, yeah, because, um, Jacob fucked up the Bank of England, didn't he? Evie pays a visit to the center of London after Jacob's assassination of Two Penny. Yeah, because... Fucking Jacob. Well, me, technically. We fucked up Engli in the English economy. Ah, oh, perfect. What has happened? Your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> The newspapers are all over Tupany's murder, and if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labor. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if? I smuggle the plates back into the bank. Huh? Well, certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Yay! Um, it's not too much trouble. I can be bought. Would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. How that is she? How she's not a banker. How is she even going to tell if it's counterfeit or not? It really is very good. Follow Abeline. All oh, right. Come on, Abeline. Let's go. Come on. No time for stretching. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit, with those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Abeline. If this gets out. Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots. Mr. Aberline. All right. <clears throat> well, can't account of it. Fitter. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Quick scan. There you are. Damn it. Tailing. I didn't sign up for this crap. I don't want to tail no shithead. Nope. No, thank you. Come on. Okay. We're still tailing him. You two, follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the cart. The counterfeiters. Heard about the rioting at the bank? They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. <laughs> what difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. <laughs> Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. 
I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. Oh, they're gonna use carriages now. Great. Back home, if you please. Have you seen the papers today? You read about two biddies murder. Yes. A terrible shame. But it worked out all right for us, didn't it? You're not worried that the police will be asking after you? Someone might have seen you going to the bank. My good man, you're not worried, are you? Let your conscience be at ease. I am not responsible for two biddies' death. I merely took advantage of a fortuitous situation. If Scotland Yard comes nosing around, I was at that bank on business and you know nothing else about it. I'll see you're given double your salary for your trouble. What? No! He didn't... How could he see me? There's no friggin' way he saw me. There is no... You saw that. You all saw that. There is no friggin' way he could have seen me. And you know it. You know it. Okay? If you could see my eyes right now, they're wide open because I know I am right. I know I am right. The game is wrong. The game is rigged. Rigged, I tell ya. Urgh. Gets me all hot and bothered. Mm. I am currently just stalling so that I'd have to make another jump cut because my post-it that tells me the times that all the jump cuts are is running out of space. So, <laughs> I'm going to try and avoid jump cuts as much as possible. Dive. Fine, I'm gonna jump cut here. Okay, I believe we are back to where we were when he unfairly discovered us. And I say unfairly with certainty, mind you. Oh, you butt. Damn it, I was so close to finishing that friggin' run. But no, you had to turn the other road. Oh, we have to be different. We have to hate on Jack. Because fuck Jack. And fuck everything that he does. Because buttholes. You know what? There we go. Have they stopped talking now? Because I can't hear any of their talking. Oh. He's moving on. He's moving on from the carriage. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Anyone could be trying to get in. Burn yes, the sir. counterfeit. Keep this place locked down. Okay, yes, I have sir. to burn the counterfeit money. Simple. This place as you would the Bank of England itself. Oh, but we know how that went. Absolutely, sir. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh shit. No, she isn't. I'm not an intruder. Steal. Damn it, I can't steal with these guys trying to kill me. Hey, whoa, okay. Sir, fuck you. And you. And you. And you. Damn it, they all heard the gun. They all heard the shots. Come on. Ow. Ke Damn it. Pissing ball sacks. Come on. There we go. There we go. Hit you in the head. Hit you all in the head. I hate brutes. I really do. Oh, good. Yay. Double kill. Ow. Okay. Right. Hey, oh, okay, there we go. Good, 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 good. They can't see anything. It's easier to kill them. Okay. And niceness. Steal. Now to sneak these back into the bank. All right, where's the counterfeit money, by the way? I don't know. I do not know. Nope, wrong one. Wrong way. And go, sir. I don't see no counterfeit money, so... Yep, screw that. Stuff that. Let the civilians into the bank. Ooh, I will do that for sure. For show, sure, for shizzle. Cool. Is there... Has there been any other game where it's... Has there ever been an open world game that's not set in America? Except for Assassin's Creed... Except for Assassin's Creed games. Any open world games... Not set in America, like, that's based on Earth. So, like, Elder Scrolls don't count because they're not even based on this planet, I don't think. 
Are they? I don't know. Is Elder Scrolls based on Earth? I mean, I know it's based in in the, uh, what is it, continent of Tamriel. Um, but is Tamriel on like a medieval Earth or is it on a different planet? I have a feeling it's on a different planet. Or at least a planet that used to be, that is Earth, but was isn't called Earth yet. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Civilians. All right, how do I let you guys in? You're right, Snipe. Don't make me cross the street. Whoa! If I come over there, I'll introduce you to my. Okay. Right. Bye. That was that was simple. That was way too simple. Okay. Right. Shit. No. No. Oh, uh, how? All right. You know what? Fuck it. I'm doing your job, okay? I am doing your job. I'm returning the plates. God damn it. God damn it! So sorry about this, but I'm trying to do your job for you. So, you should be, you should be very, very grateful. No, you shouldn't. As if it wasn't bad enough having to stand around all day. Come on, return. No, don't time. carry. I've got a good mind to pack it all in. Don't carry the body. Return. Damn it. Come on. Friggin' ball sacks. Wait. Good. No, I am not done for. I'm trying to do your job. So, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all in the face. Ow! What is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, now return. There, as if they were never taken. Oh, except for like the six bodies that are um, you know, surrounding the plates. But okay, yeah, if you don't care about. No. Sorry, I know you're just doing your job. No. Okay. Yay. Now speak to Abelin. Aberlein. Ab Ab Abline. Athlack. 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 Hello, my dear sir. Well, the London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Faith in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. Yay! I didn't do any of the other stuff. Huh. Just figures, doesn't it? Figures! Wow. Have we got another skill point? We probably should have another skill point, I think. Six skill points. Okay, cool. And they will be put into the driver perk. Because why not? So we have, what, two, ah, two more things for Evie, actually. Oh, I thought she only had one more thing, that thing. And I don't, I don't want to do the chameleon. I really don't. Okay. So where, where does that leave us for? Uh, so we have a couple red places to do, and I'll do those off camera. We have the playing politics and the change of plans. We also have the Charles Dickens conspiracy missions. So we will do one of them eventually. Um, it might, it'll probably end up being the Charles and Dickens because of that thing. But see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Have a nice day and a goodbye.